All right, boys and girls, we got an undertaking taking place today. It kind of look, probably looked like a mess. I just had to work on the beam planter to get it going. But right here that I'm walking alongside of is the Kinsey 3800 24-row planter that's controlled by Ag Leader Technology. And we're going to be planting the, te uh, the champion seed plot today. It's going to have 11 different numbers in it that I'm going to split this planter here in half. Half of the planter is going to be running a flat rate, so I'm thinking 32,500 plants per acre. The other side is going to be running the prescription that I wrote for this farm. This farm has seven different soil types in it, if I remember off the top of my head, on the other side of the planter. So there's going to be a lot of data that I can collect for about the hybrids, but then I'll also be able to collect uh, the data and see if we saved any seed uh, over the acres, you know, maybe lower the seed cost by variable rating, but that might not be the biggest point there. The biggest point will be moving the seeds with the prescription from the weaker soils, moving a few thousand seeds from there to the better parts of the farm, moving some seeds, and then that way hopefully we'll have a yield increase at the end of the year, making the technology really pay for itself. That's what we're taking on today. It's going to take us a while to get it done. We're getting everything lined up, and I'm going to take you guys along with me. It's probably going to be one of the longer videos that I do because there's a lot of stuff that I got to get done, but I'm going to work on it hard and try and get it done before the rain comes tonight. Guys, Ben and I are up here planting. We've already got one hybrid in here, which is 61A19. It's two different colors because I'm running a variable rate on one side and a flat rate on the other. So now we're on 61A17 drought guard, and we're planting towards the front. And I'm always going to plant towards the front. That way it's variable rate on one side, standard rate, variable rate, standard rate. And we can go to uh, seed monitor here and then we'll flip over to the population percentage and then I'll uh, go up here oh well, that's kind of now you can kind of tell where the variable rating versus flat rating is population wise there that's what's going on so we're uh, getting after it here today we're gonna keep working on this we switch out the seed every single time down here at the end Andrew will be coming back on the goer somewhere here really shortly then we'll vacuum all the seed out and we don't have a really a good way to empty out the meters so I usually just plant for a, a few hundred feet to empty out the meters there's no way that I can really just dump the meters unfortunately uh, so I have to plant the meters out to a theoretical spot where uh, where the meat the previous hybrid is out of the meters it's not the perfect way of doing it uh, but we're not going after a super technical aspect for this plot. It's kind of more of a show plot, but I do want to collect some data off of it. And I figured if there's a little bit of a mix in of seed there, it's probably not going to be the end of the world. But we're at the end here. We're going to have to shut it off. Then we'll get this clean seed cleaned out. You guys can watch that.
So we're on our uh, third, fourth, fourth number. So I have to put in the put it in product. So then I have to add it. It's a uh, corn. It's a champion. And this is 60. So this is, I put V R to stands for variable rate. And then this is 63. A13. It's a little bit older of a hybrid. Uh, has a great drought tolerance to it, and it moves across soils really well. It's really a workhorse of a of a of a hybrid that you can put on some weaker soils, and it should do really really good for you. So VT2. Check that, and then there we go. And then I go to this one where I add it, and then we go corn again, uh, seeds obviously, and then we go champion, and then we go. F R sixty three A thirteen V T two. There we go. So now I have those hybrids put into the planter. Obviously, it's on channel one, channel two. Control on the sides of the planter. Then we go over there, select it. We can go back here. Show you guys kind of the map of what we got so far. Um, that's the prescription that this is running. The darker blue, more seeds. Lighter blue, uh, less seeds per acre. And then here's the variety tracking so far that we've been doing. As you can tell, I plant a little ways and I pick it up and I come and plant. So that's where I'm going right now is to go plant for a little ways, pick it up, come plant up here to the front. And then we'll put the next hybrid in. Okay, we are on hybrid number six. Number six is 64A15 Drought Guard. Um, got a lot of high hopes for this hybrid this year. Last year it took first place in the Iowa First Trials for the later maturity hybrids uh, in Southern Iowa. Southern Iowa had a really hard year last year. It was actually our second drought year in a row. This corn performed really, really well. It's supposed to also perform really well in, uh, with, in a wetter year. But I'm going to run you through kind of the technology in this tractor really quick and then also where I'm running my settings at for the planter. Uh, the steering system is an OnTrack 3 from Ag Leader. The monitor is an in-command uh, 1200 display with a 7500 globe up on top here. My back pressures are running, well you can see there, 14, 16, and they run back and forth in that area. My down pressure is 140, run around, running right around 150 pounds. Uh, shaft speed, that's kind of showing how fast it's been. That's not a lot of information for you guys right there. Uh, my tank weight, there's how much seed's actually in the tanks. Area left, I'd have to program that in. Uh, I don't have that programmed in because I'm changing hybrids all the time. Uh, and then the tank pressure, which that is the air pressure inside those two AS. Air seat delivery systems. Sorry, the back window is dusty there, guys. Plus, the sunset's not doing any good. But that's how much air pressure is forcing out to the rows. As you can tell here, the hybrids. Oh, and you can this. The in command works like a tablet. There's the hybrids as they're going. And there, there's not that many hybrids. It's actually six that we've gotten done so far. But I'm putting. Like, I'm painting different, oh my gosh, this is where I drove over, that's bumps. Uh, I'm painting two different hybrids, so I've named them two different hybrids, like we went over earlier. 
that's the way things are going. We're still steering. There's Andrew waiting on me to get that done with this row so we can put hybrid number seven into the planter. And we'll keep planting. We got a few more hybrids to go. We'll keep at it. There we go. I gotta use my phone flashlight here. I got that plot in. Now I'm racing Mother Nature. It looks like this thunderstorm's coming in a little bit quicker here tonight. Putting the end rows in the rest of the field. I've got 31 acres done. This field's got about 48 to 50-ish in it. Um, here the plant. I'm gonna keep going at it. Hopefully I can beat Mother Nature. Thanks for watching this video. Stick around. We'll keep continuing up, updating you guys on how the corn grows throughout the year. So check back for videos. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing to the channel. We'll catch you on the next one.